Good morning. Today's lesson is 11.7. Problem solving. Geometric measurements. Our essential question, how can you use the strategy use a formula to solve problems involving area, surface area, and volume? Let's unlock the problem. Shedd Aquarium in Chicago has one of the country's few full-scale animal hospitals linked to an aquarium. One tank for sick fish is a rectangular prism measuring 75 centimeters long, 60 centimeters wide, 36 centimeters high along the outside. The glass on the tank is two centimeters thick. How much water can the tank hold? How much water is needed to fill the tank? Use the graphic organizer to help you solve the problem. So we have our 60, 75, and 36, and then all the way around, this glass is two inches, two centimeters thick. So what do I need to find? So I'm going to need to find which measure to use and the amount of water that the tank holds. What information do I need to use? Well, I need to use the dimensions of the tank and the thickness of the glass. How will I use the information? Well, first I will decide which measure to use. Then I will choose a formula that I can use to calculate the measure. Finally, I will substitute the values for the variables and I will evaluate the formula. So choose the measure that specifies the amount of water that will fill the tank. So if I'm talking about filling the entire tank, I'm talking about volume. Now choose an appropriate formula. Well, I know that volume equals length times width times height. So if I subtract the width of the glass twice from the length and width and once from the height, then I'm going to find the inner dimensions because remember there was that two inches. So to find the length, it's going to be the 75 centimeters minus the four inches. Because remember there was two centimeters on either side. That was the thickness of the glass. So I'm going to get 71 centimeters. To find the width, it's going to be the 60 minus the four centimeters of the thickness of the glass. And I'm going to get 56 centimeters. To find the height, I'm going to take the 36 centimeters and then I'm going to subtract the two centimeters for the thickness of the glass because it's only the height is just one area, and that's going to be 34. So volume equals 71 times 56 times 34. And 71 times 56 times 34 is 135,184 centimeters cubed. Let's try another problem. Alexander Graham Bell, the inventor of the telephone, also invented a kite made out of cells shaped like triangular pyramids. A kite is made of a triangular pyramid shaped cells with fabric covering one face and the base of the pyramid. The face and the base both have the height of 17.3 centimeters, the side lengths of 20 centimeters. How much fabric is needed to make one pyramid cell? So what do I need to find? So first I need to find which measure to use and I need to find the amount of fabric needed. What information do I need to use? The dimensions of the pyramid. Next, how will I use the information? So first I will decide what measure to use. Then I will choose an appropriate formula. Next I'll replace the variables or the letters with the correct values or the numbers. And then I will evaluate or solve. So let's solve the problem. Looking at the problem, I need to find the area. So let's choose the appropriate formula. The face of the base is a triangle, and we know that the triangle's area is, area equals 1 half base times height for a triangle. So now let's plug in the values. They gave us the base was 20 and the height was 17.3, so I have to do 1 half times 17.3. And what I get is 20 times 17. Our half of 20 is 10 times 17.3 area equals. Then I'm going to get area equals 173 centimeters squared. Next, I'm going to take the 173 centimeters, which is for one of our bases. But remember that the problem said that the area has a pyramid face with a base covering. And the base and the face have the same dimension. So the area of two triangles, so two triangles times 173 
is going to be 346 centimeters squared. So you're going to need 346 centimeters squared of fabric needed. Explain how you knew which units to use for your answer. What well, area is measured in square units, and since centimeters was the units here, we squared it. Share and show. An aquarium tank is the shape of a rectangular prism, is 60 centimeters long, 30 centimeters wide, and 24 centimeters high. The top of the tank is open, and the glass used to make the tank is one centimeter thick. How much water can the tank hold? First, we have to identify the measure and then choose an appropriate formula. Since we're trying to fill the tank, we know that we're going to need volume. And since it's a rectangular prism, we know that it's going to be length times width times height is going to be our formula to get volume. So next, find the inner dimensions and replace the variable with the correct values. So V equals, and because we had the one inch thick, and that means I have to take two inches off of these. So that means instead of 60 inches long, it's going to be 58 because I have to take the centimeters off of the walls, the thickness, times 28 times 23 with my height because my height only has to take off one inch because it's not two sides because we have our two sides here we have our two sides there but the height is only one side finally we're going to evaluate the problem so whenever I do 58 times 28 times 23 I'm going to get volume equals 37,352 centimeters now we are cubed because we're doing the three dimensions. So the tank can hold 37,352 centimeters cubed of water. So you're going to work on the rest of this in the homework pages. And I will be on the carpet if you need me. Good luck.